Hey mom, hey dad, is your child suffering from pain when peeing? Or your child has a fever and is vomiting and was then diagnosed with a urinary tract infection? Well, we will talk about UTI in kids. We will talk about the common myths and we will bust each and every one of them. Get to know which are the real facts about UTI and which are simply myths. Hey, I'm Dr. Christine Albaquiat, and my mission is to empower you moms and dads so you can raise happy and healthy kids. You know what? It is important that we dispel those myths about UTI and you understand UTI for your own child's well-being. But first, what is the urinary tract? It is composed of urinary bladder, two ureters, and two kidneys. And urinary tract infection happens when bacteria gets inside. Most commonly, infections occur in the bladder. But infections, the bacteria, can also go upward the ureter and the kidneys. Most common cause of UTI in kids happen when the bacteria that is normally found in the bowels gets into the urinary tract. And so, what are the common causes of UTI? First off, are poor urinary bathroom habits, such as not changing or cleaning wet and poopy diapers, not wiping properly. When the kid holds their urine, it is a risk factor. When a child has frequent constipation or frequent diarrhea as well. Um, irritation, is a risk factor for UTI, such as irritation in the perineal area from kids getting bubble baths, for example, and a condition known as vesico-ureteral reflux. Let's go to myth number one. Only girls get UTIs. Well, it is not true, and it is a common misconception. Data suggests that uh, girls as well as boys can get urinary tract infections. What is true though, UTIs are more common in girls because of the anatomy. Girls have a shorter urethra. So what is a risk factor for boys then? Well, if boys are uncircumcised, they are more frequently at risk for UTIs because of the bacteria that tends to stick and multiply, especially for babies who are in diapers. Myth number two, UTI is contagious. It spreads from one person to another. No, that is simply not true. UTI or urinary tract infection is not contagious. A urinary tract infection happens in a child's own body and it is not passed along from one person to the next. Myth number three, all UTIs cause painful symptoms. Well, it is true that a common symptom of UTI is dysuria or what you call pain when peeing. But in babies, symptoms may be nonspecific, such as instability of temperature, such as high fever or low temperature. Babies can also be irritable and have vomiting um, and poor sock. Take note, in babies' uh, first two years of life, symptoms of UTI can be nonspecific. And the most common symptom of UTI in this age group is that uh, there is unexplained fever, especially with temperatures 39 degrees Celsius or higher. As kids get older, for those that are two years old and up, uh, symptoms of UTI are more specific such as with fever, vomiting, belly pain, back pain, flank pain, and the like. Myth number four, cranberry juice can prevent UTI. I have a patient, a little girl who was recovering from urinary tract infection, and the mom asked me if I recommend cranberry juice for her kid to prevent further episodes, future episodes of UTI. And so what's the answer? Uh, cranberry juice has been shown to prevent um, bacteria from sticking into the lining of the bladder. 
study that does suggest that cranberry juice is helpful in preventing UTIs in adult women. But there is no evidence to suggest that it's effective in kids as well. Although cranberry juice is safe for most children, its acidity, it's not very tasty, and the dose for kids has yet to be determined. Myth number five, UTI in children is not serious. Well, that is simply not true. For example, a UTI that is not treated can lead to kidney infection and scarring and a host of other complications. That is why if your child has a UTI, it is important that you seek help immediately. Urinary tract infection is a type of infection that is treated with antibiotics and your child would feel better after a couple of days. The infection would clear up in about a week. But in some cases, some kids may need to be in the hospital to be treated. And these instances might be if your child is less than two years old, if your child has a fever, especially high fever, if your child presents with back pain, or if there are signs of dehydration such as your child has dry lips, sunken eyes, and decreased urine. And also, a child may need to be in the hospital if he or she does not tolerate oral antibiotics. Well, mom and dad, there are some things that you can do to help your child reduce the risk of getting a UTI. For your girls, after using the bathroom, teach them to wipe from front to back. For your kids who are always playing and can't be interrupted, have your child pee more often. Interrupt them for a bit and have them go to the bathroom and empty the bladder completely. And of course, they can just go back play. Um, also, I recommend that you have your kids wear cotton underwear. This is for better circulation. And also, more importantly, have your kids drink plenty of liquids to stay hydrated. Hey, if you like this video, watch my next video where I teach you about other child health problems.